Well, we'll uh, well, you come up on a load of this stuff, and you think that much to it, you know, like it's magnetos. So. But they're off of them little one cylinder. That's uh, that's a tractor magnetor right there. Then there's Fairbanks uh, Morris. The uh, reason I'll bring this to your attention, you see that little Fairbanks Morse magnetor right there? You know, ain't nothing much. I mean, it's just generic, a one cylinder. It then works really, really great. Really good on one of them LAs or LBs International, you know, you can adapt these little these little One cylinder magnetors you can use any of these if you wanted to but I'll show you how to do that sometime Get that thing on to one of them or uh, International LA on the same trailer, seen it this morning, on its way to the auction sale. Y'all check this thing out right here. That's that's a uh, it's a rare engine right there. Pay attention to it. Be an auction a couple of days. Well. I mean, I don't see no reason the engine wouldn't run. You know, it's got a belt there for that little fan thing. Man, on the same trailer going to the auction, right over there, John Deere. Take notice. It's a one-cylinder boat motor hiding back in there, hiding it. Go around and look at that. That's something special. I've got an extra battery. I was sitting back there on the corner of the bed there. Uh, you know, if I needed, I got an extra battery. I'm just saying. From here, Metal, Tennessee. Geographical center or something. Shop dogs. Uh. Well, yeah. You know, all rights right there. Probably should save that engine out. Somehow. I think that's, is, is that a boat motor? I don't know what it is. Don't know what it is. Is that as is? Yeah. Well, I was thinking I might go ahead and change them wheels out for some of them kind of turf tires. You know what I mean? Maybe an automobile tire. Dumped it to that hub. That's what I should have. Well, to qualify. The little thing, it came in a set. I was noting some, I had made a note on there. I purchased that back in 112 of 2008. I think it costed, uh, I, I think it costed $9 for that full set right there. And this is one of them, I've done took it out. And that's what I used to probe down in there in order to get the hole sizes. I think the numbers, the the standard, the standard size of these new ones here, that hole size is four hundred and thirty-seven thousandths. That's standard on these. Webster magnetos 
okay? Probing the hole in this right here, it's like um, uh, 400 and, well, I wrote it down over here. It was 448 thousandths was my number here as probing that hole and then checking it with the watch what it did So, uh, uh, going with that, doing the math on it, um, eleven thousandths. Uh, it was it kind of on the loose side, figured for area. Let's say twelve thousandths. Okay, and, and that's pretty much the same as both of these old ones. The numbers on them. And so you take that times two because both of them are worn in a in a like that. Whichever side had the most pressure on it from the mechanism is the part that made it go crooked. Well, so we confirmed that. And we confirmed that these two new end plates right here are set it back to factory minus the amount of wear on this shaft right here. Uh, I've done had the micometer on it uh, several times. And it's, it's uh, actually I'm reading the numbers right here. It's 435 thousandths and a half is, uh, is the size. And I also am going to do it on this side too. Okay, this one, half of it is 436 and the other half is 435. So that's minimal wire on this shaft right here. Uh, but I will I've noticed on the internet, you actually can order a replacement shaft here. Someone has them available and you just press this one out and press another one in. It's raining outside. <clears throat> I, I, it's raining outside. I, I hear it raining on a metal roof. I'm supposed to get rid of cold tonight for a weather update. And for a meter update, uh, if you remember one time, Bang Good sent me this meter right here for a test. Been several years ago. Well, you know a faller up on that test? It has automatic shut off on it. If you leave it turned on, it'll cut off and won't run your battery down. But, uh, they sent this thing for me to, to use. It's a little little bolt meter, multimeter. It, it's functioned great. I've had to replace the battery once in it. And over well, we here at the other store, you can get these little war alligator clips. A multi-pack of about a hundred for just cheap. And and, and 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 this here don't come with none of them alligator clips on it you have to hold it well if you put put that on there and you put that on there going up through that metal part your honor look at see that made that made good contact right there so now now we can hook these up hands free is the benefit of that and the reason that that needs to be a pretty good fit is I got something here. Look at that. I'll show you something. 
If you buy one of these on the internet, this is what you'll get. It comes in a little box like that. that that's that's a K. Uh, it fits a K or an L, this little thing do. And, uh, well, it's packed really good. It's got some, some of them, them uh, peanut things in there. Oh, there's some sponge. Let's see what it is. Packing. And then that's, oh, that's the war right there to go from yonder to yonder. They give you, well, that's pretty nice. Come with it. You know, most time you need that. But this is what come, what, what, the, what it is. And we'll get that open. It's got some tape. Mm. Well, you see that? And it comes with some screws, a grommet, and a little washer, and a, a razor blade, and instructions. So, you know, but when you get all of that, I don't see much how you could go wrong with it. I, I've got another one up there in the house, but it just tells you how to do it, take it out and put it back in. Um... They don't give you no 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 numbers on it or nothing, you know, what the reading's supposed to be. Uh, but instructions nevertheless, and they're well worth reading before you try to even uh even uh don't attempt to work on it without reading them. I'm just saying. And it, they cost about sixty-eight dollars if you was to order one. So I'm going to see how many ohms it is. That's the reason I've got it out here playing with it. Uh, because I, I th I'm, I'm going to keep these coils in this magnet here. I, I think by using these two end plates, we'll set this uh, armature rotor in the correct position as to a distance from the pole pieces. And the condition of them coils just looking at it. We're going to check them here just with the meter and compare them to a new one. And, and, I, and I think once we get us a number here, I'll decide if them should be replaced or not. But this is what you get. You get two, one for each side. It's a, They're made really nice. You know? For real. Really nice job. So, but you know, it's just standard coils. You, um, you know, you figure what you want your ohms to be and the size of water, and that dictates how many turns and then the size of area you're going to put it in dictates the, all of that. <clears throat> but to, to test this thing, I'm going to put this on the ohm setting. Ohms. And I think, let's see if we can make this. That water is coated right there. Well, there's a there's an end. Well, how cool is that? It, it has a it, it has a soldered end on it. Okay. Now, okay, you you see that coil test is out seven point nine. It toggled up to an eight zero there for once. Okay, we'll check the ohms on this. 
on this on this uh, right here the meter is and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna put that right there and then this other one right here just grounds anywhere on to the carcass of the of the unit and I'm just gonna pick one of these screw holes right there and kind of kind of bounce in there uh, okay we got a 7.2 7.3 it's even down at seven Call it seven three. Um, so we we got a seven three on the on the mag itself, and the new set of coils that we bought it was a seven point nine. So I think we'd be good to go to keep these in here. Now taking that in consideration. Looking at these coils here, they was very, very dry and brittle covering on them. So, i tell you what I did do is I took a coat of shellac polyurethane and, and I soaked them, I saturated them, them covers and there was a piece of this covering tape had completely broken away in there from that shaft being crooked in the housing i suspect so that was a fixed back on its original position there with some silicone blue so i think we'll be okay to go there for the insulating purpose of that so you know i'm just going to put it back together and uh, then we'll put it on the charger over there uh magnetizer and uh, we'll, we'll remagnetize it so y'all come on back and, uh, you know, just log this in and on that third page. It ain't got nothing on it in your book. You know, pencil it in right there for reference. You know, while you're at it, just go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Even subscribe if you got a mind to. Appreciate it. I'm here in Middle Tennessee. Geographical. Instead of something. Shop dogs and...